Hello mga bata! It's me again, Ma'am Lara. Kumusta kayo? Sa video ito, pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa GEMDAS or PEMDAS. Pero bago kayo magpatuloy sa panonood, panoorin nyo muna ang video ito para magkaroon kayo ng idea sa pag-aaralan natin ngayon. Kung napanood nyo na ito, ay simula na natin. Intindihin muna natin ang tungkol sa exponential expression. Base The number that gets multiplied when using an exponent. The exponent of a number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. Examples 3 to the second power or 3 raised to the power of 2 or 3 squared. 3 times 3 equals 9. 5 to the third power, 5 raised to the power of 3 or 5 cubed. 5 times 5 equals 25 times 5 is equal to 125. 2 to the 4th power or 2 raised to the power of 4. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. Remember, if the exponent is 1, then you just have the number itself. If the exponent is 0, then you get 1. Pag sinabi nating operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. Pero paano kapag ganito ang kailangan nating sagutan? Ano ang dapat unahin? Nasa unahan o yung nasa hulihan? Dito na pumapasok ang order of operations or GEMDAS or PEMDAS. Sa ating example, kailangan nating sundin ang PEMDAS or GEMDAS. So, kailangan nating unahin ang nasa loob ng parenthesis. Pero, sa loob ng parenthesis, meron tayong exponent. So, siya muna ang mauna. So, 3 squared or 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Kapag nasagutan na natin, kopyain lang natin yung mga numbers at operation symbols na hindi pa natin ginagamit. Next, meron pa rin parenthesis. Pero, uunahin natin ang multiplication. So, kapag nasa loob ng parenthesis at maraming operation symbols, gagamitin pa rin natin ang MDAS. So, 5 times 9 is... 45. And then, bring down yung mga numbers and operation symbols na hindi pa natin nagagamit. Next, meron pa rin parenthesis. So, 45 plus 3 is 48. So, this time, kailangan na natin tanggalin si parenthesis dahil wala na siya kasamang ibang operation symbols or numbers. So, 7 plus 48 is 55. So, let's have another example. 10 minus 8 divided by 4 plus the quantity of 7 minus 2. So, unahin natin ang nasa parenthesis. 7 minus 2 is 5. And then, copy all the numbers and operation symbols na hindi pa natin nagagamit. Next is 10 minus 8 divided by 4 plus 5. So, dito wala ng parenthesis, kaya move tayo kay M dash. Dahil walang multiplication, so, si division mo ng ating unahin. So, 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then, bring down lahat ng numbers and operation symbols na hindi pa natin nagagamit. So, this time, subtraction and addition ang natira. So, base sa ating rule, same with multiplication and division, kung sino ang mauna sa kaliwa. So, dahil nauna sa kaliwa, si minus or subtraction, sila muna ang ating unahin. 10 minus 2 is 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. So, tandaan lang natin kung sino ang mauna sa kaliwa, siya ang uunahin. Same with multiplication or division. Next example, 3 squared plus 2 times the quantity of 8 minus 2 minus 3. So, unahin muna natin ang nasa loob ng parenthesis. 8 minus 2 is 6. And then, bring down or copy yung mga numbers and operation symbols na hindi pa natin nagagamit. So, next is itong 3 squared. 
So, 3 squared, it means 3 times 3. Not 3 times 2, ha? So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, bring down or copy all the numbers and operation symbols na hindi pa natin nagagamit. So, mapapansin nyo dito ay si 6 ay nasa loob pa rin ng parenthesis. Bakit? Kasi dito, bit in between 2 at sa number na 8, walang operation symbol. So, yung parenthesis natin dito, ibig sabihin yan ay multiplication. So, 9 plus 2 times 6 minus 3. So, dahil ito ay multiplication, uunahin natin silang sagutin. So, 2 times 6 is 12. Then, copy... Then, 9 plus 12 is 21. Minus 3 is 18. Next example, negative 3 squared minus 6 plus 3. So, be careful about grouping. So, in this example, negative 3 squared, it means negative 3 times negative 3. So, kapag... Pinag-multiply natin ang parehas negative numbers, magiging sagot ay positive. So, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Then, 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Last example. The quantity of 7 minus 2 squared plus 6 times 3. So, this example ay kakaiba dun sa mga nauna. So, yung parenthesis natin ay naka-squared. So, kapag ganito naman ng example, kailangan muna natin sagutin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 7 minus 2 is 5. Bago nyo ilalagay yung squared. So, magiging 7 minus 2 squared, 5 squared. Tapos, bring down na natin yung mga numbers and Operation symbols na natira. So, 5 squared plus 6 times 3. So, next is to express 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 6 times 3. So, dahil meron tayong multiplication dito, 6 times 3 is 18. Then, bring down natin yung 25. Then, 25 Plus 18 is 43. Lagi nating tandaan ang order of operations. So, GEMDAS or PEMDAS. So, yung GEMDAS, grouping symbols or parentheses or brackets, sila yung una nating dapat sinosolve yung mga numbers and operation symbols na nasa loob nun. Kapag marami ang mga numbers and operation symbols sa loob ng parentheses, gamitin ang EMDAS. After ng grouping symbols, exponents, then multiplication or division. So, multiplication and division goes hand in hand. Kung sino ang mauna sa kaliwa, siya ang una nyong isosolve. Ganon din sa addition or subtraction. So, rank equally, kung sino una sa kaliwa, siya muna ang inyong isosolve. So, sana marami kayong naintindihan sa video ito. And stay safe. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye!